In this example, looks like we have a nice equation that includes a matrix determinant. If you'd like to go ahead and try this problem first, go ahead and pause the video and do so, and then come on back and we'll work the solution together. Okay, so on this left side, it looks like we should evaluate this determinant first. And to do so, we'll multiply the entries in this main diagonal, and we'll multiply the entries in the minor diagonal, and we'll just subtract those. So it'll look like 5x times that x plus 4, and we'll subtract then this product, so minus 3x, and that will equal that 12. So let's go ahead and distribute to get rid of these parentheses, and it looks like we'll have 5x squared plus 20x minus 3x equals 12. And because it looks like we have a quadratic here, let's go ahead and set uh, everything equal to zero. So we'll combine these like terms and push this 12 over to the left side. We'll make it a negative 12. So 5x squared plus 17x minus 12 equals zero. And we can factor this nicely. Let's see, it should be 5x here and an x here. And we'll go a 4 and a 3, a minus and a plus. Okay, so we have this factored now. So using the zero property of multiplication, if these two factors multiply to make zero, well, then either one of them uh, could be zero. So let's go ahead and account for both situations. We'll set each one of these factors equal to zero and solve. So x equals three-fifths, x equals negative four. So we can just go ahead and put them together and say x equals three-fifths or negative four. So either one of these values would be nice solutions for this equation that contains this determinant. So here are those two solutions again.